Hi, my name is Adam with UploadWordPress.com and this is the first of a series of videos I'm going to shoot here today on how to create a classified ad style uh, website using WordPress and the Classy Press theme. And the site that we're going to build from start to finish uh, is called CostumeClassifieds.com. It's going to be a classified ad site for all types of costumes, uh, marketplace for people to buy and sell Halloween costumes or theater costumes or any type of costume you can think of. Um, that's what we're going to be building here at uh, on CostumeClassifieds.com. And just to give you an idea quickly of what this site's going to look like, um, sort of, kind of look like when it's finished, uh, here, here's a, another site that I built with the Classy Press theme uh, a few weeks ago. And you can see that this is a, a website uh, called SitePickers.com that is a place to buy and sell uh, websites and um, so just this just gives you kind of an idea before we get started here of what uh, costume classified is going is going to kind of look like um, as we go uh, uh, when we're done with it so um, all right let me go back to costume classified so what I've done up to this point is I've installed all the plugins uh, I've uploaded the theme so we just need to we're going to start by activating the theme and then go from there all right so if we go into the WordPress admin, we go to themes, and there's the Classy Press theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate it. And that theme's uploaded just like any other theme, uh, same way. All right, so that's uh, now active. So if I go to the site and <laughs> refresh the page, I should see the Classy Press theme. All right, there we go. Um, there's a number of different uh, colors to choose from. So if we go into the admin and we go to, uh, let's see here, Classy Press, and then actually we'll start by going to the, the Classy Press uh, dashboard. This is where you'll be able to, uh, you know, kind of see an overview of what's going on with the website. It'll show you the number of ads that are live on the site, total pending ads if you choose to screen ads before they go live, the number of users uh, that currently are registered to use the site, and then the total revenue that the site has produced if you choose to charge uh, for for ads to be listed on the site. Um, and then you have a kind of a graph screenshot over here. So that's under Classy Press and then Dashboard. Now if we go to Classy Press and Settings, this is where we will be able to choose a color, an overall uh, color for the theme. Um, home page layout, you, you have a choice of directory style or standard style. I like to keep it on directory style. It looks more like a, a it's a true classified uh, ad style site that way, so I keep it to, to directory style. So right here, color scheme. Uh, right now it's set to the red theme, which you can see here. And I'm going to, let's try the aqua theme. Here, first of all, here's the choices. You have aqua, blue, green, red, teal. All right, and then a combination of aqua and black, blue and black, green and black, uh, red and black, and teal and black. Um, for this site, I'm going to go ahead and try the aqua theme. So let's just see what that looks like. You know, if, since this is going to be a costume site, I'm going to probably try to tailor it more towards. And there you go. That's, you can see the aqua. Um, you know, play around with it and choose whatever color you like, depending on you know the type of site it is. This is going to be a costume site, mainly a Halloween type costume site. You know, so I probably want to go with something that reflects that more. Um, I don't know if there really is a great one in here for that, but. I'd probably go with the, uh, uh, let's try the blue theme. And again, just play around with it until you find something that, that you like. <clears throat> I mean, ideally I would like an all orange and black theme, but that's not really a standard option. You could do that if you knew how to, you know, really customize, but I'm not going to get into that much detail. You know, I like this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this uh, blue and black uh, overall color scheme here. So I'll go with that for the color scheme. Um, continuing under settings, 
and uh, the general settings you'll see that uh, you can enable a blog I have that set to yes there's a standalone default blog built into this theme which is really nice it's separate from the actual ads and I'll, sh I'll get into that in detail as we go on uh, enable coupons yes I'm going to uh, want to allow people to use coupons that I create um, enable logo yes here's where we're going to actually upload our logo that we create I'm going to create one in a minute and we'll upload it um, feed burner you can put that here if you want your Twitter username that'll integrate the site with Twitter tracking code here where you can, here's where you can put Google Analytics I actually just use the ultimate Google Analytics plugin so I don't worry about the tracking code um, but if you want to use it you can um, this stuff you really don't mess or I don't ever change this um, you could if you wanted to exclude pages just automatically is going to exclude certain pages from showing up up here because there's pages that they have created to for the that's built in for the functionality of the site and they, they know what those page IDs are and they already have them here so really don't touch the excluded pages or the blog ID page um, Google Maps setting this is where you could uh, each it's actually uh, let me just show you this example here quick if I click on this first example classified ad that's out here there's there's a map built in right here so if I enter my uh, as you can see here so it'll automatically based on the information that's in the listing it'll display um, a Google uh, Google map here so you just need to enter the um, map region which I think is UI or US yeah so I just put US in there and then if I save this and go back out here and refresh the page we should see a map show up over here <clears throat> yep there we go so it'll automatically pull in the map um, so again yeah if you live in the US just go ahead for uh, under the Google Maps setting under Google Maps region put in capital U capital S and then the search uh, settings you can play around with this if you want I never change these uh, but if you want to go ahead and uh, you know test it out um, the category options uh, you can show parent ad count uh, I leave that set to yes again if you want to change these you can under category options I, I really don't ever change that I always just leave it set to default same thing with menu category options I leave those the same as well and then home page category options I don't uh, change anything there classified ad message you can leave that default for now or leave that as it is for right now and then just click save changes alright so really all we changed under the uh, site configuration general settings was I just changed the color of the scheme um, and then I will eventually I'm going to add a logo here in a second I'll upload a logo I'll add my username or my Twitter username here when I create my Twitter account I didn't change any of this stuff was already there and then the only other thing I, I added was under the Google Maps settings Google Maps region I just added US so that's all you change under that general tab um, if we go under listings so this is where we get into the classified ad configuration allow ad editing I set that to yet yeah, allow that all right I leave that as yes allow parent ad category posting yes um, Add inquiry form requires login I leave that to no that would mean like if somebody's on here and sees your classified ad and they want to contact you or to you know inquire about it um, they don't have to actually have an account or be logged in to, to contact you so I, I leave that set to no because I, I, I want them to be able to contact me without creating an account um, allow HTML in the in the ad you can set that to yes if you want I, I just leave it as no because it slows down the site a little bit allow ad relisting I said I leave that at, at yes let people relist it if they want show ads view counter this uh, this is optional if you want it I'm gonna set it to yes so that people can see the number of uh, views each ad has um, show gravatar thumbnail I'll set that to yes and new ad status this is where you can choose to screen ads or not screen ads 
if you have new ad set status set to pending review that means that you're gonna have to approve the ad before it goes live and I like to keep it at that so that I can prevent spammers uh, but if you just want it to automatically publish without you having to screen it just set it to publish I'm gonna keep it on pending review um, and then under add images options here's where you can choose to how many images they can have in each uh, in each of their classified ads um, I'm gonna set this to I'm gonna leave this set to three and allow uh, images they can have three up to 250 KBs and so I'm gonna go ahead and save changes